Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. Today we are going to be making this race car. That's right, a teacher on Twitter asked me to design it for her and she showed me what she wanted and I thought okay I think I can do that. I printed it and it works. So here's the tutorial. We're going to start off with a block. That's right, super complicated. We're going to start off with a block. I believe the dimensions are 90 by 30 so let's go ahead and get started with that there's the 30 and there is the 90 okay we're going to duplicate this block i'm going to hit Control d i'm going to raise it up uh 10 sure let's say 10 and i'm going to rotate this 14 degrees that's why it says that right there and make sure you can see the top numbers 14 degrees right there <clears throat> now, when you're actually making this, you can change the dimensions. That's perfectly fine because it's going to be your race car, but there's some things you should not change. The degrees, yes, you can change that. The way this is going to look on the side, there are limits as to how you want to change that for right now. We'll keep the basics, but then I'll show you later what you can change. All right, so we're going to group these two. I'm going to select both of them there and hit Control G. Of course, you can click that button right there to group them. So we have the initial shape. Next, let's bring out, mm, let's make the hole. So we're just gonna bring out a cylinder. Of course, we're gonna maximize the sides by dragging here. And the height for this one is going to be 66. So 66 and looks like we made it nine by nine. So let's go ahead and click those numbers. I click on there once, click nine, hit return. And then we're gonna make that a hole. Let's rotate that by 90 degrees <clears throat> so there it is very important part right here very important do not mess this up you're gonna want this covered completely okay so don't leave it like this where the wheels can just fall off or down here where the wheels again can come off you want it to be covered top and bottom so let's get a little bit of a close-up here let's drag this more over here and that should be fine. I'm gonna just drag it a little. All right, now, as you can see, it doesn't go all the way through. So what I'm gonna do is align. So I selected both things. I'm gonna click the letter L. I don't want the car to move, so I click on it, and now that'll move. I'm gonna duplicate, I'm gonna click away first, and then duplicate this, Control D. I'm gonna hit the Shift button and hold it, and then I'm gonna drag this back. This right here might move because we have a shape over here that might get in the way, might not. So we might move that. Okay, so far, so good. Next, let's make the wheel. I believe this wheel is gonna be 30 by 30 and the center is gonna be five. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> we click on a cylinder. We're gonna maximize the sides. 30 by 30 and five. Now we're gonna make the hole Control D. Let's see what this is right here. All right, so it's a cylinder that is going to be, let's move it over a little bit. 20 is already there, so it's just a matter of changing the sides, nine by nine. No problem, nine by nine. We're gonna align these two, oops. Align these two, click the letter L. And for me, it doesn't really matter which one gets moved, but before you uh, group them, I want you to see this. You do not want this to be going all the way through. So we're gonna raise this two millimeters. So one, two, now I'll group, control D. Oh, I duplicated that. I'm gonna group and that'd be control G. There it is. You can see that it doesn't go all the way through. So we should be fine here. All right, so. <clears throat> We're gonna do a test. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna, this is already selected. I'm gonna click the letter T so we can see through it. Make it transparent and 90. Okay, here's the important part. When you're designing this, you want the wheel to be, uh, let's see, it's still not set. I'll move it up a little bit more. And let's move this out of the way, there it is. <clears throat> you want the wheel to be below the car. If you happen to make a wheel that is exactly the same bottom of this, it's not gonna roll, it's not. So the bottom of the wheel has to be bigger. All right, so let's go ahead and, you need four of these, obviously. 
Now for this particular design, it's not going to be print in place. So I need one more. You're going to have to diff, uh, you're going to have to print these separately. And of course, when you're printing these, you want them to all be. Let me uh, try to get a better angle here. <clears throat> you want them to be at you know flat because right here you don't need any supports, right? And I know for me, I'd rather have no supports in any of my designs, so that's why I try to avoid them, or I plan to not have them in my designs. But this one, you're gonna need supports, but not here. The wheels are fine. This thing is fine. Let me just go ahead and group these two so we know that we're good here. Control G. I'm gonna make I'm gonna click the letter T so we can see through it, because we're gonna need to see through it for this next one. Now we need the part that holds the wheels together. So it's one of these. A cylinder the height 40 actually let's uh, maximize the sides and 40 here we go and I believe this is 8 oh 7 okay 7 by 7 I'm gonna click on the 20 one time and then hit the number 7 okay so these are gonna go in here and in there so we need at least we just need two of them actually okay so we're done with this done with that we did this, we did this, we did this. Oh, there was two of them. Okay, so we need a cone. Luckily, we don't need to do anything with the cone. There it is. Actually, no, we do need to maximize the sides because it just looks better. And we're gonna need a cylinder. Do we need to do anything with this? Not really, except, again, you maximize the sides. But here's the thing. It needs to be five millimeters. But you do understand that once we have them together, you you really should subscribe to my videos. It really does help. Trust me, I need the likes, I need the subs, and I need you to smash the notification button. Why? I don't know why. Maybe you like doing this stuff. And if you do, you'll find out when I have my next video. So I selected both of them. I'm gonna align them. So I'm gonna click the letter L, and right there, and I want this to be, yeah, I don't want that part. So I'm gonna click that letter D. I'm just gonna move this to the very top. Now I'm gonna, I want you to see how I do this. I want the cone to be on top of this thing. So I'm gonna click on the work plane tool. I'm gonna to click that so it's facing, I don't want it on the side. I want it on the top like that. Now if I click this and then the letter D, it'll automatically go to the top of that. Now I'm gonna turn off the work plane tool by dragging it back to the work plane. These two are gonna be grouped, control G. Mind you, I only changed the dimensions of the cylinder to five. That's all I did. So we're good with that. So I'm going to click on here, get rid of that. We're good. Now, the hard one, the one that everyone's been crying about because it's so complicated. Be strong. I know you can do this. I'm going to go to the basics or to the shape library and go to the shape generators. <clears throat> and we're going to look for the bent pipe. So here it is. So at this point, you might want to pause the video and look at these numbers right here because you're gonna copy the exact same numbers and then we're gonna do a little bit of manipulation. So numbers are, uh, oh, yeah, we're looking, yeah, okay. 15, 25, and 10. So let's go ahead and change that to 15, 25.11, and then 10. Looks a little bit like it. Let's go ahead and keep on going, uh, 25, 10. Then we need 50, 20, and 50. Okay, so 50, 20, and 50. All right, so we're good there, right? Now what we're gonna do is rotate this 90 degrees. Yes. I'm gonna click the letter D so that this is uh, on the work plane. Perfect. Now this one, I believe is 42 millimeters high. So I'm gonna hit the shift button. I'm gonna hold the shift button down and then drag this to 42. And then I'm going to make it a hole. And there we go. We have the same exact thing. So again, very important you follow these right here. So let's go ahead and get rid of that one. Now let's put it together. I think I did not make the, the block the same height. I may have done that one wrong. So let's see. Let's just undo this part right here. And if you like this, that's fine too. But it's going to affect this part right there. So I'm going to ungroup this. I'm going to have to ungroup it twice just because there is this part and then these these were grouped later. And I'm gonna change this to 30 because I know that's the issue right there. 
and this one's going to go up so it covers this and then it, it goes all the way up right there yep that should be fine so it looks like we went up by 10 millimeters now we're going to group these right here and then we'll be back to where we belong okay now because of this i'm going to actually raise these a little bit do i need to not really this is a choice in fact i like that choice i'm going to leave them where they are actually never mind okay so let's drag mm, yeah let's drag this over here but we can't really see it so let's click the letter i'm going to click on the on the race car body click the letter t and now we can see where it is this is what I'm talking about. You do not want this to be touching this hole right here. So <clears throat> I'm gonna move this over. And almost there. Oops, wrong way. Okay. What you want is for this hole to be pointing and be completely out right there. It's not centered, so let's go ahead and center that. I selected both of them. I'm gonna click the letter L. I don't want this to move, so there it is now officially centered however the balloon that we're going to attach here is okay so this is the thing that we need let's rotate this right there 180 degrees uh let's make it transparent so we can see what's going on over here good let's drag it and right now i'm just moving it and then i'm going to eyeball it oops I need the black one to move it up Okay, so it's not centered. I know that. So I'm going to click all of them. Click the letter L. I'm going to click on the race car because I don't want that to move. Okay, so it's centered that way. I think we should center it to this too. So now we're going to select this and this. Click the letter L. I don't want this to move. So I'm going to click on that and let's center it. Ooh. Did I click on that? I did. Oh, I, I understand. Okay, I'm going to, you cannot because this thing is bent. So the center is a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and then move it over. And I'm going to have to eyeball this one. And that looks good. <coughs> now, let's make sure everything is cool here. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed. It doesn't give you enough space here to put the balloon over this. So I'm going to drag this up. All right, now you gotta make sure that this whole object is uh, the bent pipe is going through here. Otherwise the air from the balloon is not gonna go in there. All right, so not bad, not bad. Now, if you wanna change this later on and you want to make this longer, I believe it would be, to make this taller, you would change this one to like, I don't know, let's say 30 and I'm gonna hit enter and see what happens. It should go up if my theory is correct. Okay, so now if you wanted to, you could move this up. But here's the thing. You don't want it to go too high. Otherwise, there will be no connection here. You do want there to be enough strength so this thing doesn't fall off in the middle of the race. And see here, there is some space in between all the way around. So that should work. Or if you want to keep it at you know 20 the way it was, that'll be fine too. Now, something to consider is when you're putting this together, um, I used super glue. Now make sure that if you're, you know, under 18, you ask your parents about this because super glue can be super messy and quite dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So the way I did it is, let me uh, group this so I can show you what I did when I put this together. Let me group this. Because when you print it, it essentially is going to be one piece, right? So that's what I'm doing. So here's what I did. I put these things, and let me rotate this. I put these things in there where they belong, right? In those little places. Okay. Wow, not even close. I'm going to drag it, try to put it in there, right around there. And then this one here, again, same exact. Let's uh, zoom in here so we can get a better view. Okay, almost there. And then this one drag it down okay so here's what i did let me move this over so i put glue in the center of this thing and this thing and then i grabbed the race car body and i rotated it 
and then I put this on there. Now, mind you, I did have to adjust, you know, part of this, like make sure that the wheel is actually there. I didn't put enough glue that it would spill out because if I did that, this race car body would be stuck to the wheel and it will not turn. Okay, so that's what I did. Once I had them on there, then I let it stay. Okay, now after about 10 minutes, I put glue here and glue there, just enough so that it would stick. And I put these on top right there. Now, if you overfill this, it will drip and it'll get stuck and super glue will not get unstuck. Your, your car will break before that glue comes off. So after that, you're ready to race. Now, this again um, was because a teacher on Twitter said, hey, can you sh make a tutorial on how to make this design? And I said, I will try. Of course, I printed, I tried it, it worked. But I think I'm going to make, be making another tutorial because I want there to be a different design for the wheels. And I think I like the way it looks. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.